Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we will explore the following part A and part B first. For part A, the context of this particular question, there are two particular packages for its mobile phone customer. So I will use the red color to denote call longer package. Flat rate of 14.5 cents per minute. So for every minute, it charges 14.5 cents. Now, the second package though, is called Phone More. Again, there, but this time around, there's a fixed amount of $12. There's 40 minutes of free outgoing calls, and it charges 10 seconds per minute. And last but not least, the question informed that the total time taken for outgoing calls is X minutes. Now for part A. James wanted to spend. He spent uh, at least uh, $50. So this at least $50 means that it is $50 or more. So now that we are given a table to help us, let's go to the table. First, step one is to read the question and identify the unknown which we have successfully highlighted the unknown in this question is x they want to know how many minutes for this outgoing call and we already step two we already let x represent the total time of the outgoing calls so now is to fill in the blanks for step three to form this algebraic expression <coughs> We know total time is X minutes. So the next thing to find out is for these call longer packages, what will be the total cost? Okay, so in this case here, the cost per minute, we can actually find right in the question itself, 14.5 cents for each minute. And the total time, we also know already because it is here. The total time is X. And therefore, the total cost would then be 14.5X. Done. Now, form another algebraic expression and after which, Explain how you decide on the inequality sign. <clears throat> so they tell us that the total cost spent is at least $50, means it is $50 or more. So from here, we already know that the inequality sign that we are required is, it must be, the cost must be bigger or equals to $50. And $50 since we are all using cents, notice that I actually convert it to cents before I use the correct inequality sign. And this is actually the explanation at the top that we are actually looking at from at least $50, we are able then to decide the inequality sign in this question. Part B then require us to solve this inequality. So looking at the right side of this particular video, you would then see that I started off with the inequality and I then divide by 14.50 on both sides 
So that the final answer, do remember to leave in, leave your answer in mixed number. We will now move to part C of this particular problem. Alright, for part C of this particular problem, another person, Lydia, spent at most $50 under this phone more package. So if it is at most $50, then this means $50 or less. Later, we will make use of this fact, okay? So again, we are now going to form the inequality step by step. Step 1 and step 2 is the same as previous parts. The question already informed us of the unknown, which is x minutes, and the x minutes actually represent the total time, which is in this case here. <coughs> now, as we slowly go into the phone more package, it charges $12 fixed amount. Meaning, if I did not use any outgoing cost, I will still have to pay the $12, which is 12, 1,200 cents. So it is always there. So that's why the total cost later on, you will see me straight away at this $12. Next, there is also a catch. Here, we actually have the phone. 40 minutes of free outgoing cost and we know the total time is X. And therefore, you will see later on, I minus 40 because 40 minutes are free. And last but not least, you should also see that <coughs> they cost 10 cent per minute. That's why we multiply by 10. So now, we do need to let people know by explaining clearly this final expression for the total cost. So when you explain do, take note that there will always be a fixed charge of $12. There are 40 minutes free outgoing and Therefore, we minus 40 from the total time x. And the total cost is actually the cost times the total time of the outgoing cost. <coughs> now that we have the total cost, as we move on to step 4, then we come back to this at most $50, which means $50 or less. And this actually helped us to decide that for this question, we are using a less than or equals to $50, which is 5,000 cents here. Let's move on to part D of this particular question. Moving on to part D of this question, you would then see that we just need to solve the inequality that we have just formed in part C. Do take note that first we have to, of course, expand and simplify this by multiplying across it. Next, do take note how I actually simplify this inequality. I saw a 1,200 here. I don't want it to be there. So I minus 1,200. But if I do that, I must do the same at the other end. Same goes for the 400. 
I see a minus 400 here and I know that if I add 400, it will, make, it will become 0 and therefore, I add a 400 here. <coughs> okay. So this is the 400 that I'm trying to eliminate. And once I do that, I'm only left with 10x on the left hand side. And the right hand side will give me 4,200. The next step will be to divide by 10 on both sides. And that will give me my final answer. And take note. Do write down the final answer in this form. That will be the in final inequality answer. X is less than or equals to 420. Now, to find the minimum number of minutes such that the phone more deal is a better deal than the and so from here, you must make sure that this better deal means that the, the meaning here would then be huh, the phone more cost must should be less than that or call longer. And that's explain this inequality sign it must be less than the cost of call longer and we will proceed to solve this inequality again we expand and simplify that's why you get the 10x and negative 400 and 1200 minus 400 will give me my 800 after which, in order to make sure I don't have 800 on my left hand side, I minus 800 on both sides. So that, no more 800 on the left hand side. I only left with 10x. And I repeat it for my... ...14.5x. So that my right hand side, 14.5x minus 14.5x, I'm left with 0x on my right side. And my left side is negative 4.5x. And do take note, there's a typo error here. This one should be a negative, negative. And I'm going to divide by a, very important ah. Uh, and when I divide by negative, when I divide by negative value, we change the sign. So initially it is less than sign, now it's bigger than sign, okay? And finally leave your answer in mixed number. And therefore, the minimum number of minutes will then be the next number of minutes, 178. With that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, do feel free to give a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.